We're hearing more from the owner of an airboat tour company in Osceola County that was involved in a crash that sent eight people to the hospital this morning. West News' Megan Mulatto is joining us live from Parton Triangle Park near where the crash happened. And Megan, the owner says everyone on board is doing okay. Yeah, we're told there were 11 people on board total. Eight of them had to be taken to the hospital, but without any life-threatening injuries. Now, the, com the owner of the company tells us that they run six boats, about 25 tours a day, and the crash happened on the very first one Friday morning. It hasn't ever happened before because we've never been this low. Owner of Marsh Landing Adventures Orlando Airboat Tours, Jim Passmore, says in the 13 years he's been operating, never has he had an incident like this. A boat hitting a sandbar in the canal that goes out to Lake Toho, sending eight of the 11 people on board to the hospital. Coming back in, uh, evidently we had shallow water that dropped over, dropped on us during the night. So uh, paying attention, basically came to the area. Uh, he was doing about 10, maybe 12 mile an hour. Uh, out here, it's, you don't have brakes on them, so you have to basically anything that's in front of you, and you ran up on a sandbar. Several agencies, including Florida Fish and Wildlife and the Coast Guard, responded to the incident, along with law enforcement and fire rescue teams. Officials in St. Cloud confirming the water levels were drawn in preparation for hurricane season. It won't shut us down, but it will cause us to uh, move in a little different direction. A different direction, he says, that will include placing markers to warn of shallow ground. These boats run in an inch of water, okay? So it's not like, uh, it's not like driving on dry ground, which we hope out there. We hope that we got enough water under us, but when, uh, when this sand comes up, it becomes, it just doesn't give us any give. Passmore says the boat involved in the accident is still running and will only need some minor repairs. He says the tours for the rest of the day were canceled, but he's expecting to be back up and running tomorrow morning. We're live in Osceola County. Megan Mulatto, West 2 News.